Farm Boy Reef here. So today's episode is about how to add a drainage to your skimmer cup. Um, so I know some people have a skimmer underneath their cabinet so they don't have much room. They always don't want to change it all the time. And it depends on the size of their skimmer cup as well and how much skim meat you have. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to add, actually add uh, a connection so you can, all your skim meat can drain into a bigger uh, container. Um, so it's less maintenance all the time cleaning, but it's always good to keep your skimmer clean. You want to get your best skim meat you can. Um, so on today's episode, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. So what I did is I went to uh, Home Depot and I picked up, it's called a Watts Quick Connect. It goes from 3 16 to a quarter inch for uh, your pipe for the drainage. Um, a little bit of silicone for around uh, the fitting. You're gonna need a drill and a step up bit to get the 3 8 uh, size. I like using the step up bit instead of a drill bit. That's my preference. That's all the tools you're actually gonna need. So I'm gonna show you guys here uh, the process. So we're gonna grab our skimmer cup. So here's the bottom of the skimmer cup. Um, so we're going to drill a 3 8 hole through here to add that connector. There's a nut on the other side. I'm going to show you guys the process here. So I'm just going to grab my drill. I got my drill. What you're going to do is you're slowly going to press center of the plastic edge. That's where we're going to put the fitting. Make sure you're right in the middle. Go slow. You don't want to crack your cup because that could be really bad. So we just take it slow. You can stop, stop now and then just to make sure your size is fitting. So we just make sure. So we got our, our 3 8 three eighths connector. You see that? So you know how they like on your RO fittings, so you can push the pipe in and pull it out. So okay, so we got to go a few more millimeters. And that'll go on. So we just keep drilling. See the hole drill? That's in the cup. We just keep drilling. And with these step up bits, there's all different sizes. If you can see. So every time you drill a hole, it gets a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger. So that's why it's nice with these ones. You can keep judging your size. So you just keep drilling. Make one more. Okay, we'll try that. Just move this away. So see the hole. So let's, we'll try our fitting, see if it's the right size. Well, just maybe one more mil. One more mil. All right, so let's try that one. Blow away all the fittings. See if it's gonna fit. Look at that. So there you go. So now it's fitting in the inside. You can see in the inside. That's where we're gonna put our uh, our connector. Put our nut on. What else comes with is a rubber seal. You can get to any faucet for on uh, your uh, sink. That'll go on before we on before. So you'll put it right in the hole like this. So that'll make a tight seal. Now we just gotta put our nut on in the inside. So I have the fitting just sitting in there right now. What I usually do is like just with a nut is I'm gonna just take a little bit of silicone a little silicone here and I'm just gonna put it around the edges want to fill it in just give it a little bit more tight seal so I'm gonna go ahead so now we have that there I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the nut drain on hooked it. up to it I got the nut on the inside and I got a little bit of silicone just for an extra seal you didn't really have to do it but I like to just take the extra precaution um, so I did this video for Pines uh, 8411 out in Miami he has a skimmer underneath his cabinet and he'd like to add a, a drain to it as well it makes it a lot easier, a little bit less maintenance because now if it's full, it can actually just run into another holding container. So that's the easiest way. So all we have to do is hook up a, just hook up a pipe to it into your container and so you're good there you go. go. So I added a little piece of hose. Um, it actually will take a bigger size of 3 8 but I'm just trying to show you guys with a quarter inch that uh, that's how it works. So this is the easiest way if you want to add uh, a drainage to your, uh, to your skimmer holding cup. So now all your skim mate can go into another container. So that's all you need guys, and you're good to go. Um, so this is for My, you guys. Uh, skimmer guys, it's a Reef Octopus. Um, it actually came with its own uh, drainage uh, outlet. Um, so it just goes down here through the cabinetry and right down into my bucket. That's where all my skim mate goes. That's about a month's worth in there. It's pretty nasty. All right, guys, so that's how we add the, the drainage to the skimmer. I hope you guys liked this episode. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, please leave your comments. I love talking with you guys. Uh, Pines 8401, Sean's Reef, uh, Erica, all you guys. Uh, please leave your comments and uh, we'll move on to the next episode. Have a good night, guys. Bye.